If you have been to India or if you have traveled to any South Asian country, you will see a lot of vehicles that look like this. What are they? Well, in India we call it a jugaad. A generator which is supposed to generate electricity is used in a different setup for transportation. Similarly, a bike which is used to transport two person, if connected to a cart, then it can be used for mass transportation. What you see here is an engine which is working well in one use case, being used in another use case after making some minor modifications. Now, we all know that JavaScript code can be executed in the browser when we use JavaScript with HTML. Browsers are capable of running the JavaScript code, but how? They have a JavaScript runtime engine in them that helps them understand and execute JavaScript code. Edge has the Chakra engine, Mozilla has the Spider Monkey engine, and Chrome has the V8 engine. Because the JavaScript engine was just available in the browsers, hence JavaScript code could only be executed in the browsers. But that was about to change in 2009. In 2009, Ryan Dahl came up with an idea. He took the V8 engine from the Chrome browser, which could run JavaScript code, and used it inside a C++ program to execute JavaScript code on a server. He called the program Node.exe, and that is how Node.js was created. Node.js is a runtime environment using which you can execute JavaScript code on a server. Just like you install C compiler to execute C code on a machine, you can now install Node.js to execute JavaScript code on a server or your laptop without a browser. Now that JavaScript is free from the jail of the browsers, you can execute JavaScript code wherever you want. All you need is Node.js installed. When a programming language is used on the server, it needs some extra capabilities so that it can engage with the file system, operating system, network system, etc. For which extra packages were added in Node.js to make Node.js even more useful. So that's all about Node.js. I hope you now understand what it is and why it was created. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to make more such videos covering different things, comment down below and let me know what you want me to cover next. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do and press the bell icon too. Thank you.